We're going to go to the bars and restaurants section now. This is uh, definitely your most important um, area of the application. Uh, if you can see right here, we've got a lot of bars and restaurants listed. This will give you your total of uh, number of bars and restaurants down below here. We've got 8,350 spread out on 84 different pages. Go here and you can actually select which particular page you want if you wanted to scroll back and forth in between all your restaurants. Um, your filters up here are pretty important. Um, this restaurant is a bar or restaurant. Uh, so you could just filter out to just the places that were bars. And then you can also do subcategories. So say I wanted to do all the bars and I wanted to do all the bars in Boca Raton. This will filter it down and just give you a list of all the different places that are uh, listed as a bar in Boca Raton. Um, let's go ahead and start off with uh, Hooligans here. And Hooligans got everything that's pretty self-explanatory here. Company name, address, city. Um, we can also do uh, alternative city. What alternative city is for is if um, Boca Raton, for instance, has an area called Meisner Park. Now, but Meisner Park is in Boca Raton, but there are a lot of different bars and restaurants in Meisner Park. So somebody might want to just search for places that were in Meisner Park. So we would assign Meisner Park here, and uh, Meisner Park, and then whenever a user does a search, Meisner Park will show up. Phone number, website for the business, that's not required. Contact person, contact email, that's more for in-house use. That has nothing to do with the website. See, we've got this place designated as a bar. If it was a restaurant as well, we would designate it as a restaurant right here. Restaurant icons, you're going to kind of ignore those. Uh, we don't really use those right now. Right here is where you add restaurant and bar categories. Right now, you can see this is a casual late night live music and lounge. Uh, say we wanted to add some restaurant categories too. Uh, we'd go ahead and add burgers. You can see that that'll pop that right over there. Barbecue. And if you want to remove those, you can just click them again and they bounce over to the other side. Description, you pretty much want to take right off from the website. Uh, most websites will have a description. If they don't have a description, uh, you want to add one for them. Uh, just do something generic. Uh, this is where you would add the logo for the business. You want to try to make sure that you're not using anything trademarked. Try to always, always pull the logo right off from the website. Uh, you can copy and paste it usually from the website, or if you need to do a screen capture, I can show you how to do a screen capture. Um, menus. Menus are a little bit tricky. There's two options here. Uh, this box is going to show your uh, dinner menu. This box will show your lunch menu. Dinner is always your default, so if a restaurant only has one menu, you always want to just put it right in the dinner menu section. Now, if a restaurant has a menu online and it's in a PDF format, you always just want to do PDFs. You don't want anything else in the database except for a PDF menu. Um, then you could actually put the link to that menu right here from their website so that when the user accesses the website they're actually going to pull that PDF menu down or you can also save their PDF menu uh, and upload it um, sometimes you may actually need so they might only have a menu in an image file in which case you're going to have to save it and convert it over to PDF menu that's something I can show you how to do later on if I want to upload a menu I'm going to go over here and select my PDF menu that I want to upload Oh, shoot. You bastard. Where'd I go? Alright. Um, it's gonna put the link in here for the uh, for the menu that I that I uploaded. Now that menu is not gonna automatically upload until I go down to the bottom and hit save and continue. That'll upload that menu. And you'll see that here's the link to my menu right here. I'm gonna click that link. Okay, I'm gonna copy and paste this link location. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to put my link right in there. Okay, that is my link location that it saved uh, on my actual website. I'm going to go down here and hit save and continue. Now we save that menu. The menus are pretty tricky and complicated, so that's something uh, we might have to, to discuss a little bit more in detail. Uh, here's your hours of operation. That's pretty self explanatory. Twitter tags is something we're not going to worry about. This section is very, very important right here admin options. Uh, these places, you always need to make sure that they are checked off when you add a new place, is active, is premium. Okay, otherwise they're not going to come up. 
Um, if they do have live entertainment, you'll check off live entertainment. Okay. Say that you have a list of restaurants and you've got a dozen different restaurants. They all have the same name. And you want to save all the same information to all the different restaurants. So you don't want to go to all a dozen restaurants and update all their data separately. You could click this right here and it would update all the same places with all the same information provided that they had the exact same name the name has to be the exact same uh, verbatim for the places to be active um, this is our special section you can add happy hour specials here lunch and dinner specials daily drink specials you can um, decide whether they're a one-time special so in other words one-time special or you know would be uh, you know they're they're having a St. Patrick's Day event. Um, weekly special would be every Tuesday night's ladies night. Constant would be your happy hours usually. So if I want to do a happy hour that ran constantly, I would put the details of my happy hours uh, right in here. Make sure that you put not just what they do for a happy hour special, but the times and the day of the week that they do the happy hour special. And you can do the same thing with um, lunch and dinner as well. Make sure that when you're said and done go down here always hit save and continue because that's going to save everything you did just did and allow you to go through and edit and double check all the information that you just added